Who is LaFonza Butler? Governor Gavin Newsom appointing her to fill the late Senator Dianne Feinstein's seat, and the move is already drawing backlash from both sides of the aisle. CBS 13 Shantae Passmore is getting answers on Butler's history and what voters think, Shantae. Yeah, guys, you know, it wasn't so long ago the governor appointed Senator Alex Padilla to fill Vice President Kamala Harris's old seat. Now, questions and concerns are mounting whether Butler is the right person for the job. And again, we have been told what choices we can and cannot make. We have come together across race and across place. Meet LaFonza Butler, someone dedicated to helping women get elected, now thrust into a coveted Senate seat. So forth. It's a great, great appointment, but I hope she does not throw her hat into the ring. While Butler is not currently running to fill Feinstein's seat permanently, there is a crowded field, including representatives Katie Porter, Adam Schiff, and Barbara Lee. Butler's selection drew some criticism from Democrats. Well, the governor got himself actually stuck between a rock and a hard place. Most uh, universally agree with that. When he committed to appoint a black woman, should a vacancy appeal in the U.S. Senate? Wanted Lee to, supporters uh, hope the governor would select her to fulfill Newsom's promise. Online, the congresswoman wished Butler well, while writing California deserves someone with experience. Butler will be the first openly LGBTQ person to represent California in the Senate, the first black lesbian to openly serve in Congress in U.S. history. It absolutely matters because there is a community who benefits and who is in major need of the representation. So uh, I think it's a great opportunity. Yet other voters say qualification counts. What do you qualify for? What can you do for the people? For Congressman Kevin Kiley, qualifications also matter. Ms. Uh, Butler is actually uh, a Maryland voter. Um, and so there is a provision in the uh, Constitution about uh, the qualifications to serve in the Senate um, and uh, residency requirements. We're learning Butler does own a home in California. She's expected to re register to vote in the Golden State before being sworn in. Kylie also introduced legislation advocating vacant Senate seats should be decided by special elections, not political appointments. But political watchers say that's unlikely to happen. In a matter of days, we have to remember that the Senate seat went from someone holding it for decades to essentially a newcomer. Butler has never held a, a, a seated elected position. She has been a Democratic strategist as well as an advisor, most notably for the vice president.